Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of Two Men on a Mission podcast. How's it going? I'm Sam, your boy, Quake Padua. Angelo Torres. Come on, man. And we are Two Men on a Mission. That's right. What's up, man? How you man? doing, oh, boy. Oh, Flex on him. Flex on him. Come on, man. <laughs> Hey, is man. popping your collar still? In the, you it's know still things. It's still things. You know what I'm saying? Man, man, it's good to be doing one of these again, bro. It is. It was much needed. Yeah. We got a lot to tell you. We got a lot to discuss. So yeah, I'm, I'm almost at a loss of words because it's just been, you know, as we reflect on on Q1, <laughs> our first 12 week year, and that first video that we did, we Angelo and I didn't even watch it before, Damn. but. Uh, it, it's still very fresh in my mind. And when I tell you we applied pressure, that's exactly what happened. So, like, I'm very, very happy. I'm sitting here smiling right now. Just Man, <laughs> we accepted pressure, not stress. Man, let me just tell you guys. No stress. We want pressure. It, it, was, a Come good, on. it was a good 12-week year. You know, there were some, you know, some bumps and bruises, but, like, the successes heavily outweighed the lessons we might have learned and... We're here, bigger and better. I mean, just look around. around. You know what I'm saying? We we, yeah. was, we started off in the first. We was just on the two uh, dining chairs. That's right. And then we went to the couch. Mm, now the, we now this come on. It, this is, is hugging it? my. What is it? Hugging my bumps, what is man. Cartier, like, like, what, hey, what, what's, what's, what's happening? Let me get a cigar. You know. What's really good? You know what I'm saying? What's come really on. good? Um, I bought this from Rick Ross. Uh, no, but, <laughs> period. <laughs> But uh, yeah, first I just want to um, go ahead and you know if we could open up with a review of our our first twelve week year goals and yeah. then um, just give them like an update on how we did some takeaways and then also um, what our our new twelve week year goals are for sure. So you could start with the, you know with your review and I'll be more than happy to do mine as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, m- most importantly, uh, Q one for me was. Um, working on finance and making sure that I was uh, doing what I needed to do yeah. to uh, ultimately fund uh, a couple of goals, especially acting goals. Yeah. And so uh, I currently work two jobs, uh, really three if you think about it, uh, exactly. if you add acting. Yeah. But um, uh, I still do the life insurance and I also uh, work at the airport. I actually inspect the plane and uh look for anything that is seriously dangerous so your boy is saving lives when i go to work um and so that yeah yeah so you sit down you feel comfortable there there isn't a bomb on there or anything serious you can thank him yeah you can thank me (laughs) um but uh one of the things that i was really grateful for so the last month of the 12 week year um I actually was number one in life insurance in my office. Let's go. Yeah, yeah so I'm yeah. super yeah. excited about that. Oh yeah. Um, Praise God. Yeah, and so that means a lot of people were getting a chance to um, have life insurance for the first time or getting a better life insurance and replacing the one that they had. And so um, I'm just God. grateful to help people. Um, Praise God. Yeah, and so uh, another thing too, um, mine mental and my spiritual health has grown so much tremendously tremendously i i I used to talk to him about doom and gloom and now i'm just whatever is positive whatever is beneficial whatever is good that is the only thing in my heart and in my mind and that is that is around me yeah um so i just finished um i think like my six month continuous of uh, therapy, uh, counseling. Praise God, man. And so, Praise yeah, it's, it's been real good. Support, that's yeah. right, that's right. Um, so this is super huge. I encourage everybody to take their, their mental health uh, serious. Um, and uh, go in there with, with uh, an open heart to allow somebody to teach you something new. Because whatever you think you know, you don't know. Amen. Uh, so, wow. uh, and lastly... Um, in that, in that goal, uh, let me go ahead and look here. Um, I had goals of 
being oh uh one of my goals was to make a dent on my debt and uh i know that for for a lot of people people want to save and then put a chunk on their debt um i just went after i actually was giving plasma to take care of some debt as well um some people give plasma for their own gain i was actually trying to get rid of debt with that so the two incomes and including plasma i was getting rid of debt mm -hmm. um i didn't reach my goal with that um but I, i'm extremely proud of myself um uh, taking care of my responsibilities and uh i feel like i'm getting closer um baby steps but these are the steps i need to take to financial freedom so, yeah amen. um th those are my goals right now that i can speak of just in a general sense amen. Amen. Um, but yeah yeah and he's also Something before before I go ahead and you know speak on my twelve week year, something that people also don't see. He just mentioned all the things that are his goals and you know what he was looking to take care of for the first first twelve weeks of the year. He's also a father of two kids. Uh, Angelo is someone I've I've never seen him one day dismiss time to see his kids. Um, never, oh, I've got to work, i got to do this, blah, blah, blah. I'm going through it, I'm tired. He's never made an excuse, an excuse when it comes to spending time with his kids, picking them up, taking them to Chuck E. Cheese, taking them to dinner, taking them to ice cream. Despite all the stuff that you just heard him talking about doing and donating plasma, going to work, airport insurance, this and that, being on set, which we will talk about, um, he's never dismissed fatherhood. So that's something that I, I I highly you know commend because I know some people who who don't have that burden or that load and they're not being present as fathers in their kids' lives. Um, so when I see him, it just it's, it reinforces the fact that I know within my heart this guy's a brother to me. He's a man of God and he's a leader because it's easy to just put our responsibilities aside when we got a lot going on in life. But he's like, nah, I don't care what I got. I don't care if I'm down to my last dollar. I don't care if I'm sleeping in my car. Like, I'm going to be there to pick my kids up and spend time with them. Like, that's amazing, bro. That's beautiful. I appreciate it. Yeah, bro. That's that's really, really commendable. He don't talk about it a ton, but this guy, is he's really, he's really a, a champion. Like, he's really a champion for God and just leadership, you know what I'm saying? So... Since, since since you went there, I, I want I want to share something real quick. Yeah, let's talk um, about it, man. That's what this is about. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna be short and sweet on this one. Your boy worked two jobs, plasma, had a business that didn't work out. I I have to pay to them, pay to the government, save a little bit of money for mm -hmm. my kids. Mm -hmm. I went from in my car to on a couch to you know to everything having to go rock bottom i didn't share all that with you i didn't really get into the nitty-gritty mm -hmm. but your boy's gonna make it as an actor i'm gonna take care of my kids yes i'm gonna change lives i'm gonna inspire people and i'm gonna do it with the faith that I have in Jesus Christ, Amen, my Lord and Savior. Praise God. And I'm going to let you know that one day, one day, your kids are going to be looking for someone, even your kid who's 40 or 50 years old. If you're 70 years old and you got a kid that's 50, mm -hmm. show them this video. Mm. Show her that video. I promise you, one day, they're going to need some faith and they're going to need some inspiration. Wow. I was I was in my car. I didn't have money. I gave blood. I was poking needles in me. And, uh, you know, I, still, my kids don't even know. They don't even know no dad idea. has to deal with. I still yeah. pick them up and have fun. So, <laughs> say. Praise God. Let's go. Praise God. Bro, this guy is just inspiring, man. It's Come just on. like, uh, that's why that's why there's two men on a mission. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's days Come where on. I'm tired. And I just, I think about my boy, I'm always thinking about my brother, but I think about Andrew and I'm like, nah, you better get your ass up, boy. You, <laughs> you got no excuses. I got to sleep one hour before my next job. Leave my next job and sleep three hours and then go to my next job. When you, when you have a, a spiritual, spiritual connection to somebody and you know you're on a mission together, like whenever you feel like you can relax and you know that they're still striving for the bigger, large scale goals, 
it automatically pulls you up. Like there's something inside you that's like, nah, go a little bit longer. Go a little bit longer because I know my brother's in the trenches right now. You know mm. what I'm saying? So appreciate I'm just, you, man. Bro, oh. I'm grateful for you, man. You definitely, you definitely um, increased my spiritual life, my my work ethic, my focus. Um, everything we're we're doing is working, bro. And it's just I'm very very grateful to have a, you know, what I'm saying a teammate in this yeah. game called Life. Very grateful. Yeah, bro. Uh, just to recap my 12 week year. So let's talk about it. Yeah, as I told you guys. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Start with the good news first. Come on. Well, I'll, just, I'll just start with the first video that we said. You know, I told you guys initially my, my three main goals were to, um, one, become an FTMO funder. Uh, one, become an FTMO funded trader. Mm. Two, become, um, you know, more proficient in, you know, business and learning more about nonprofits because you guys know I have a, a nonprofit that I'm very, very passionate about. And then three, also increasing my, my physical, spiritual, and mental That's health. Right. Um, just to touch base on that, I actually took some notes. So, first and foremost, I'm, I am an FTMO funded trader. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Oh, let's go. <laughs> I knew you were going to say it. Come on. Praise God, Listen, man. man. Praise God. Talk about your mornings. Praise Talk God. Talk about your, your whole day with that. Yeah, so trading is a, is a, is a mental game. Let's just, let's just put that out there. It's, it's not a scam that people think like, oh, Forex, trading, blah, blah, blah. It's a get rich quick. Ain't, ain't shit quick about it, man. Nope. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, nope. it's a it's a mental game. It takes focus. It takes patience. It takes consistency. Study. It takes study. It takes hours working on your craft. And that's what me and my boy Bryce have been doing day in and day out for the past two and a half shout years. Shout out to Bryce. Yeah, shout out to my man Bryce. He's probably going to watch this on his own time. But when I tell you guys, probably, we probably crossed at least like, i say 400, 500 Zoom calls. Yeah. Over the past two years. No exaggeration. Talking charts, studying, looking up stuff, researching. Um, you know what I'm saying? I feel like he's 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 a part of he's like there with me. You That's know right. what I mean? That's Even right. though he lives in DC, we've only spent we've only spent two hours together present over the past two years. Wow. Yeah. But I've spent hours on hours with this guy. So it's like we're connected, you know what I'm saying? That's my boy. Shout out to Bryce. But um, yeah, I got some. I got good some, man. He really is. He really is. Um, but I'm just, you know, first and foremost, very grateful to be an FTMO funded trader. I mean, sky's the limit from here. I'm, my goal is to strive for three to five percent a week. Um, I'm just gonna stay focused and continue dialing in every morning. I'm up six thirty, six forty five, straight to the straight to the bag. Like it's, let's get to work. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm grateful for that. Um, in regards to my second goal, I do have a nonprofit coach, a nonprofit business coach, Mrs. Crystal Durham. Um, she's been amazing. I will say the past probably couple weeks, past few weeks, I haven't been, you know, as dialed in with the nonprofit. That's because I started filming again, as I told you guys we wanted to do. Yeah. So Ooh, we'll get there. Started filming and um yeah, we're gonna talk talk more about that. I'm extremely excited, and I'm also gonna getting ready for my master's program, Full Sail. Let's go, Full Sail University in film, film production. So a lot has kind of transpired over the twelve weeks, and it's, it was a very successful twelve week year. Uh, we talked about your tour. Yeah, so I went to the tour. It was fire. Um, I'll put some clips up. It was just really really dope experience. A lot of alumni were you know mentioning the great things that they're doing in their careers. Um, you're meeting and connecting with other creatives it's just like you, you're right. on campus you're looking around you see the technology it just makes you hungrier you know what I mean and I mean I don't even gotta tell you guys about my hunger I'm just gonna continue to show it but once I got there I was like yeah let's eat you know um third increasing my spiritual mental and physical health that that's been um it's been phenomenal um you know pr day, daily prayer is something that is just so important. It's just so important. And it's just, it's a simple thing. It's a simple time to just connect with the Lord. I don't know, you know, you might have a different faith. But for me, that's something that has definitely been important. And it allows me to start my days right and end my days right. Um, I've also been doing Bible study with my girlfriend um, every weekend. That's been great. You heard and, that, everybody? Just, just, <laughs> yeah, it's been great. GM, yeah. yeah, it's been great, you know. <laughs> and it's awesome. Just, it's important to have a partner who shares that that faith and that growth mindset with you. 
And then, um, yeah, Sunday service has been phenomenal as well. Shout out to Pastor Kyle at Kingdom City Church. Uh, you know, just just very, very grateful. Physical health, um, I, I know my touch base, I was dealing with some chest issues on the last video we talked about. Um, the pain has definitely decreased. Good. You know, definitely decreased. I'm grateful for that. Very watchful. Yeah. He's very watchful. Yeah. Back in the gym, getting right. Um, getting ready for our episodes coming up. So... <laughs> You know, I'm grateful, wow. you know, I'm very, very grateful. And that, that touches based on the three, um, the three goals I had. And then lastly, concluding with the mental, physical, and spiritual health, I just feel like, God, and I had a birthday yesterday, you know what I'm saying? I had yeah, a, yeah, I would I miss had, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> this man, yeah, the boys birthday. Officially, officially, vain the ocho, vain the ocho, 28, 28. It's Marshall Fall gear. Yeah, come on, man. I'm just, I'm just ready to dominate, bro. Yeah, I feel like I'm make some plays. Come on, I feel like I'm walking into my prime. You know what I mean? I feel That's like great. I'm jumping into it. I feel like I'm jumping into it, and man, I'm just excited for what's next, bro. Um, yeah. one one of the things that I love about bro is uh, he mentioned his his spiritual walk and uh, mental. And here's the thing: people think spiritual is somehow uh, you're taking care of your mental if you work on your spiritual. That's not exactly true. You know, taking your mental isn't always just taking care of your spiritual. Let me tell you why they're two different things and why he does those two well. Um, he loves to walk. Take a walk and he is literally training his mind for his day. He is saying what he's grateful for. Facts. He is thinking about his family, Facts. why he's doing these things for his family. Facts. He is preparing his focus for his his trading, you know, like he dialed in, being like telling himself to be dialed in. It 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 takes a certain mindset to have so much in your day piled on. But the reason why he has so much because his mind is just zoned in on the right things he he takes that walk That's to real. clear out all the funk That's real, man. you know all the negativity if it's there mm -hmm. and he comes in he's a traitor then he's a boyfriend then he's a son then he's a you know spiritual man of god he's he's taking Director, all he, actor DJ. you do all those in one day yeah. literally you can do those all in one day yeah. it's no lie yeah it's gonna he, happen tomorrow yeah seven hats tomorrow yeah no joke um, but his, his spiritual, I think because he trains his mind and when he, he is now able to accept God's word Amen. and able to pray the way he prays. So I, 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 I'm encouraged by you, bro. This is why we're doing what we're doing in film. Now we got to talk about it, man. What are yeah. we doing, man? Yeah, man, we're doing some great things right now. So, um, Angelo actually put in his, in his big picture goals on his, his book right here. I'm looking yeah. at um, he, he has something about us on a production or a show. I don't know where it's at, but well, something along those lines, right? Well, it's two men on a mission, and that's who yep. we are. That everything we're doing, on, somehow we are we are being booked on popular shows, or we're making yes. a series, yes. movies, all in 2023. And yeah. I, I didn't realize I put that down. This is the only thing not highlighted. He didn't even know he put it down. I didn't even know I put that down. So yeah. March eighth, man. We, March eighth, we got this man a birthday present. Yeah, yeah. He said, I think about probably like a week before his birthday, which was March eighth. Yeah, um, we shot a we shot a uh, just a scene read, a table read. Yeah, um, in my apartment activity center, and people were like, "Oh, we're, well, that looks good." Like they were interested. Yeah, yeah. We didn't even think nothing of it. We just wanted to just get on camera and start practicing. That's right. Um, it was a scene from All American, and then the following week, he had an idea he wanted to do um, for a, like a a therapist drama scene, I think. Right, right. And we were in my apartment and brainstorming. Yeah, just I mean, some some idea just randomly fell upon me, and I was like, "Okay, I got it. You're gonna go to, you're gonna take the trash out, and you're gonna see a dead body in the trash can." And he's like, "Okay, yeah." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Whatever happens after that, we'll figure it out." Yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> but let's just do that. I'll film it and then I'll be like in my car. I'll call you and say something crazy and you'll just freak out. 
Right. Little did we know what that just random spark of idea would lead to. Uh, we have a full storyline. We have multiple characters now. We have episodes Episode now. Many written. 90 Seconds is the name of the series. 90 Seconds. It's kind of... It's, it's a similar... And it wasn't intentionally supposed to be like this at first. But um, it's comparable to the series 24. The award-winning series 24. Yeah. Uh, I call Marco. Or he... Marco is um, um, uh, Marco. I'm the character. This is he's Ezekiel. The, he's the main character. Do we look like a Marco and Ezekiel right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, essentially, uh, Angelo is the protagonist. I'm Marco. And, yeah, Marco. Is the, <laughs> Marco is the protagonist, and um, Ezekiel is the antagonist. But yeah. essentially, he's taking out the trash on a random Tuesday night, right? He gets a phone. He sees a dead body in the trash can, first of all. Like, that, hello, that would shake up anybody's week. Yeah. Um, yeah. Shortly after, I mean, this, he's puking on the ground. He's like, I, I don't know what I just witnessed. This That's woman, right. This woman is chopped up and killed and in a trash can. Right. Um, he gets a phone call from me. And I give him a set of instructions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you have 90 seconds. That's what I tell him. Like, you have 90 <laughs> seconds to follow my instructions. And he's like, what is All wrong? of a sudden, I'm you're stuck. <laughs> yeah, you're like, what the hell is going on? The day my life changes, Marco. Yeah. And then it's just a wild ride from there. Wild ride. Right. We get on YouTube. Uh, we just published episode three. That's right. We're going to be filming. And that's nuts. Oh. Catching fire on the internet. Facebook, yeah, got Instagram, we've much got love. Dozens, dozens and hundreds of comments and views and feedback. Uh, I'm, I'm extremely proud of what we've done, bro. Um, Man. Big shout out to this guy. So, Angelo doesn't have any film experience. He's always talked about, since I came back to Kansas City in, um, at the end of November, um, when we first connected, he said, I want to film, I want to act. Let's and get it. It was kind of like we were just discussing it here and there. I was like, okay, yeah, sure. Um, but we just continued speaking on it. We continued praying on it. Pr- praying yeah. on it, speaking on it. Yeah. And I was planning on moving um, to, you know, to further my career. That's right. I didn't plan on being in Kansas City for an extended time. So I was, that like, long. I was like, I don't really know what we're going to film, bro. I don't plan on getting a crew together. I don't blah, blah, blah. It's just something very simple. Just put it on film. I just didn't really set any expectations because I was planning on moving. And I was working a job at the time, which I didn't tell y'all, but I got fired. Um, so far, one of the biggest blessings of my year. Um, man, <laughs> man. Uh, talk about it. Yeah, man. If, ever, if you guys ever hit a roadblock in your life, just remember no and O means next opportunity. Mm. Um, or a new opportunity. Mm. One door closes, another one opens. You heard that a million times. I don't got to repeat it. But it is very, very true because... Literally just days before I got fired, I got blessed with my funded FTMO account. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, literally. Yeah, literally just days before. So it's like God was saying, hey, here's this. I'm going to take this away so you can focus on what's important. And I'm grateful to the job. You know, I'm grateful to the entire staff. Like, they are all they all got my love. There's no bad blood or nothing like that. But uh, it was time for me to focus on my purpose and what I'm really, mm. really good at doing. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, ninety seconds, like I was saying, was I didn't intend on I didn't intend on filming with Angelo, but the time frame I had here in Kansas City, I'm like we might do some reps in, right? Whatever. Um, this guy's a star, you know what I'm saying? Uh, with no experience, just raw talent, and watching other people in the craft and hungry to get better at it. So feel free to share a little bit of what you do to. To get, Just ready, to, to get ready to get ready yeah. to you know practice your lines because being an actor on camera is totally different from being an actor like in stage right right so for instance if you're in a high school play or you're in a college play you can rehearse and then get on there and be just fine when you're on camera if you suck people can tell immediately yeah you know if your lines aren't as clear or they don't feel your emotions or you don't really look scared they can tell and it, oh, it immediately diminishes the quality of what you're yeah. filming. Yeah. You know what I mean? Angelo has been, he's been one of the most, like, authentic characters I've watched with with no experience in the <laughs> role of Marco. Like, every episode, every scene, I'm like, oh, he's killing it. He's killing yeah. it. And it makes me bring my A-game, too. 
you know? So what are you well, doing, bro? Like, just talk about your process and what it's been like so far so, as an actor for a month. For a month, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So go watch so, him. You guys will see what I'm talking about. This guy's got the juice. Anyways, go ahead. So, bro. so the first episode, um, I, I wanted to film. I said, hey, let's go on film. It was the day of my birthday. And I said, the best gift I can give myself is something that will open up doors for the rest of my life. Amen. Bro. And I know that he wants desperately to live in his purpose. And I've been searching for so long to be found. Like I've done, I, I opened up a business. I did the book of sales. I've done all these things. Yeah. And I just want to enjoy my life Man. in the sense where I got peace. It gives me drive. It makes me adventurous. And it makes me love myself and love others and love what I do. So I was Man. looking for that, right? And so I was basically like pleading for him. I was like, dude, let's, let's film. <laughs> and I was in the zone. Yeah. I remember just saying, like, if I'm going to put this on film, I have to really not waste any time. I had 55 minutes to an hour 10 before I have to go to work. He had to go to the night shift. Jeff. I had to go to my night shift. We don't, that's all we have to film. And I remember walking up to where we were, we were going to film. And this is what I told myself. Kobe chose a different profession and got an award. It's a, I can have another dream. Mm. One dream can end. I could have another dream. Amen, so the second dream can end. I can have another dream. Yeah. My third dream can end. I can have another dream. Yeah. One door can That's close. Good, I can still have purpose. I can still have worthiness. I can still be courageous. I can still make it happen. So I wanted to prove to myself that if my dream is to be an amazing actor, I'm going to be an amazing actor. Cool. And that was the day I had to show it. <laughs> on my birthday, give my own present. On the spot. Yeah, on the spot. On the spot. So 30 degrees, 20 degrees. Yeah, it was hella <laughs> cold. And I chose the worst outfit to wear to take the trash perfect. out. <laughs> Everything is just like. I was so nippy. Oh my God. So here's my mindset. Uh, we've done three episodes that we've uh, published. published mm -hmm. And we got many others. But my mindset is. Have music that will put me in my setting. Uh, watch tons of actors that have done this before. Um, make sure that I rehearse, um, you know, whether with him or, or by myself, but go over the script many, many times where it's, it's in memory. And then remember that when people watch this, they don't want, um, they don't want a fraud. I don't want to be a fraud. Yeah. I don't want to up. be a fake. Straight up, man. So if I'm going to put it on film, I got to show you my bag. Yeah. Okay. Up, man. So straight that, up. that, that's kind of what I did. <laughs> and mind you, March 8th was the day we filmed. That was the first time I did anything film Ever. related. Ever. And we Kill are, what me. are we? April? April 6th. Yep. April 6th. It's not even four weeks. Y'all check the film out, man. <laughs> and my guy killed it as Ezekiel. Bro. Yeah. Talk I, about <laughs> how you're starting to grow in this character, man. You know, it's funny. Killing uh, an onion. Yeah, literally. Ezekiel is an interesting guy. Um, <laughs> he's an interesting guy for sure. Ooh. So most of y'all know, like, I have a pretty light, fun, easygoing personality. Kiss your babies. Yeah, I'm <laughs> that light. Kiss babies. Come on, man. I'm the Funkel. Like, I, I love it. The Funkel? Yeah, I'm the Funkel. Man, did you just make that up right now? <laughs> no, that's, that's, I didn't make that. I can't take credit for that, but I'm the Fun no. Uncle, so they call me Funkel, man. I like that. Man. You are the Funkel, man. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, all my all my mommies got kids now, so I just I know my role. Mm. But uh, long story short, like I have a pretty light, easygoing personality. So when thinking of a character that I could play alongside Angelo because given the I guess the circumstances it was just him and I so I'm like we can't just have two good guys doing something random because that's going to lead us more towards comedy or whatever the case may have we'll have to continue working 
I thought we were just filming something one time. So I'm like, okay, we got a bad guy, we got a good guy. Let's go. Um, and I've watched a ton of films. I've t watched a ton of TV shows. The bad guy is always, in, specifically in these action, thriller, suspense series, the bad guy is a pretty twisted individual. Mm. Um, and although I'm, I like to laugh a lot, I can be pretty serious when it comes to getting in character. So when I'm speaking on, on the phone with Marco, I have a knife in my hand, like a, the largest kitchen knife I have. Talk about squeamish I was. This man had a knife in his hand. <laughs> he he would if if he thought a knife throwing contest was smart for film, he would probably do it. Uh, but go ahead, talk about what yeah. you're doing to that knife, bro. <laughs> it's funny we were filming this scene. So basically, I'm I'm holding the, the knife, and the point end on the knife is sitting on my finger, and the the handle end is over here. I'm just twirling the knife. As I'm reading, as I'm speaking to this guy on the phone, and granted, Angelo's holding the camera that we're recording on right now. Shh, about to shake, about to drop it, it, about to piss, <laughs> about to <laughs> taking on myself. Yeah, literally, <laughs> literally, and I'm just like, how dark can this guy's mind be? That's where I'm putting myself. Like, I'm not thinking about anything, you know, me. I'm not thinking about anything, Angelo. I'm thinking specifically Marco and my character. What would have an audience member cringe? What would I watch on TV and I'd see somebody doing it? I'd be like, oh my God. Yeah. That's, so that's where, I, that's where I took it. And it was, it's easy for me to be that bad guy. You know, <laughs> I think I'll have more roles as a bad guy. Yeah. Because um, it's, I don't know, there's just an ease with it. People expect you, me to you be You did so that well. Nice. People would expect me to be so nice and friendly, which I am. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to film, like, I get to be another person. You know, so I think, and the one thing that I got a lot of feedback on was the lick of the knife. So I licked the knife a few times, like as we we're doing takes, and Angelo was like, "Dude, I'm like, watch. dude, this, <laughs> this is," I, I, he's like, "I can't watch." It's like fear factor. <laughs> like I feel like I was like, "Angelo, are you ready?" No, oh. I'm not. <laughs> All right, lick the knife. Ah, I'm out. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was. So. It, it was so. It was evil because he got he licked it because he's like in his mindset he's like like I love blood like I love this yeah. you know like you're out for it <laughs> yeah. yeah it's fun man he didn't give me a heads up actually you didn't give me a heads up I actually none of this that's the thing none of this is rehearsed or we don't planned. rehearse anything like, we don't it's yeah. just on the fly I wrote the lines that day like yeah it was probably. 8.15 when we decided to film. Yeah, and yeah. I gotta leave at 9.15. Yeah, leave at 9.15. <laughs> so literally, I brought up the idea of uh, the trash can and him seeing a dead body. I'm like, okay, let me start packing my equipment. Right. And typing in the car to, you know, lines for him to <laughs> go out and remember. You yeah. Know? So, like, people don't really understand. Like, <laughs> it took, took 15 minutes to, like, remember. Yeah. Um, and, uh, but... And you did it so well. Like, the... What is wrong with you? You know, it, yeah. the way you just panicking and everything. You guys gotta check yeah, it out. Yeah, check they, it you, out. You'll see what we're talking about. I mean, it's just hey, the train has stopped to you. Yeah, the train is going. <laughs> hey, hop on now. Hop on now. Oh, it's leaving. Yeah, hop on nah, now, man. We'll come back around. We'll pick you up. <laughs> <laughs> or you have to, you know, keep that Netflix subscription. So. Yeah, yeah. They, they don't lose that. Uh, but yeah, no, 90 seconds has definitely been, you know, one of the highlights of, of my Highlights. Um, what are people saying? Uh, what, what are they telling you about the 90 seconds? Yeah, people are, are hitting me, you know, my saying my DMs and comments saying they, they didn't even know I was... Some people are saying they didn't even know I was acting. Um, mm. I did make it kind of apparent back in June, but maybe they just don't know yet. Mm. Uh, which is okay, because I like catching people off guard. That's uh, right. That's what makes them pay attention. They're like... Oh my god. Yeah, you know, so that's been the that's been a good reaction. People saying, "I didn't know you're doing this. This is phenomenal. I'm subscribed. When is it coming out?" That's what I keep hearing. When is it coming? Yeah, out? they want to know if it's on Hulu. Yeah, or I Netflix. That a lot. Hulu, Netflix, Peacock, Bounce TV, Fox, CBS. I don't even care if it's Church TV. I don't, I don't like <laughs> Paramount, <laughs> HBO. Hey, Look, basically the people are asking, so y'all gotta, gotta give us a call. Yeah, people yeah. are asking. Come on, we'll sit down right here. Yeah.
People have also um, have complimented Angelo and I's acting. They said, you know, they're, they're very impressed with the acting. It all felt natural and real. You know, when you're watching some of your friends in these roles and some people say they're actors, it can, it's easy to not view them as professionals, right? You're like, oh, that was cool. Like, that was good. But it's, it's easy to not view them as professionals. Or maybe harder support because it's, mm. it's, it's like, you want to support all your friends and what they do, their business. All, yeah. But maybe it's like, you don't believe in as a business owner or, mm. or an actor. Yep. You know, whatever. So it happens. You might be. You might have experienced that yourself. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So um, yeah, the final feedback has been great. The last episode we dropped definitely turned heads. If the first two didn't, the last episode I told him and I I told multiple people this. That's that's some of my best work. Period. As a filmmaker, amazing work, bro. As a filmmaker, as an oh, actor, amazing yeah. work, bro. Yeah. That last oh. episode. He, he, oh man. Wait up! Wait up! Wait up! His. Work. I'm, I mean, I'm talking about editing, s- screenwriting. Um, we're talking about audio. Yeah, no, I wrote the whole thing. Amazing, amazing. I mean, the amount of time he spent paying attention to detail. It's like a jigsaw to look uh, everybody's takes and somehow trying to fit that with the audio and, and, and I mean, it turned out amazing, bro. God has gave you amazing gifts. Praise God. This is one of many. And, uh, you know, you're going to have things on, uh, on theaters. He's going to have things streaming everywhere. Um, please God, watch our journey. This is two <laughs> men on a mission. Yeah, this is, this I is- promise you, we won't let you down. We are going to be on everything you like to watch stuff. We're gonna be on. Period. What? Follow us. We're gonna inspire you. We're we're only doing this because everybody has a dream. Yeah. It might not be this, but whatever you got, I hope you I hope you get it, and yeah. I hope you achieve and, it. Yeah, and I hope this inspires you to go after it. You know, right. you you might have a homegirl that you've been working with for years, or that's your best friend. You guys keep talking about that business. Call yourself two women on a mission. You know, give yourself that that having that teammate is such a game changer. Um, I can't stress that enough because when you know that you're in something with somebody and they're just as hungry as you are, if not hungrier, it's like, ah, you know, like, yeah, you, the, like you play football when they push the sleds, it's just you and the sled. You yeah. Got somebody else with you. You're like, ah, you're blowing that thing up, man. You're blowing the thing up. Oh. So that's how I feel. You know, since Angelo's been back in my life, uh, you know, we were at a distance while I was in Miami doing my, my music career. But since we've been back on the film game, it's just like, it's spiritual now. Spiritual. You know, it's not a journey we just let anybody in. We, we said know. it's personal. It's, it's personal at this point. Our work ethic, our determination, our yeah. prayer. This man prayed like, I think last week we, we had a prayer that ran like 15 minutes. I was like, wow, I'm just... Hey. I woke up, I feel like I just got out of... Um, like, I don't even know, bro. So, sometimes, sometimes... God is going to put words in your mouth. Mm-hmm. God's going to put words on your heart. Yeah. He wrote it there. He's going to put words on your mind. Preach. So it can circle. You thinking about it all day. You have good thoughts. You have challenging thoughts. Yeah. You have thoughts that's making you sacrifice something for something else. Facts. Okay. The reason why I pray with him, sometimes I, I, even today I said, bro, I'm getting the chills. I need yeah. to pray because I, I think God is going to present to us something that it's, it's undeniable opportunity. Okay. We're about to pray on this video, bro. And, and we're going to pray in this video. Yeah. But this is, if you don't have a faith, if you don't have a particular uh, commitment, mm-hmm. I ask you to commit to 90 days of prayer. See what it would do for your for you in mm. your life. See what it does about your job, about your parenting, your health, your health, your your finance. Yep. I I'm I'm talking about things will grow. We talk about planting seeds. Mm. You already planted seeds, you didn't even know you planted. Mm. You just don't know how to water it well. Mm, mm, but give it 90 days of watering, 
Watch the blossom. Watch what you grow. Your garden's gonna be so fun, so awesome. You're gonna wanna go back to your garden and maybe even have a picnic, like bring a friend over and say, hey, look at my garden. It's amazing. Praise God, man. Praise 90 God. days of prayer. Wow. If you so don't wanna grow your garden, watch our garden. Mm. I believe in God. I believe in God, okay? I believe in what he's gonna do. 90 seconds, okay. 90 seconds, the mini series of this is my garden, okay? Preach. I promise you, I wanna know what your garden is. After you watch this video and you do 90 days of prayer, go back to these comments and let me know what it's done for you. We're gonna keep updating you our life, wow. okay? But um, wow. I didn't mean to go be preachy, nah, preach but I, I definitely want to share. Wow. They needed to hear that. They needed to hear that. And I, I, and look, I've been great. Let me tell you a couple places I've been grateful at. Giving plasma, I got a scar right here. I gave pla I had no money. They gave me $55. Grateful, that's all I had for a couple of days. I was in my car. I have to pop my trunk to get a blanket out, to go in my front seat, lay my back seat. I was grateful for warmth. Wow. I would get off the exit, see a homeless person. I have a found a jacket I only wore three times, two times in two years. Really warm jacket. I gave it to yeah, him. Yeah, I was, I was on, on the phone. I was on the phone with him when he did this. I'm like, we, you can't because I'm you can't fabricate these stories because I'm on the phone when he's doing these things. <laughs> you know, what I'm so I'm so grateful to be an actor. Wow. I put my mind mindset together, and in 90 seconds, a mini series. I think is going to show people that I ain't playing around. He's for real. Um, yeah, love you guys. I I hope the best. Um, I'm not asking everybody to go low to then go high like I did. I, 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 this is my journey, but, um, yeah, I'm going to take care of my kids and it's, Please, it's it started this way. Yeah, so, man, uh, sorry, sorry. I got preachy. I'm sorry. Yeah, man. I'm sorry. Nah, man. They need to hear that. Bro. They need to hear that. Ah, hard, they got a glimpse of our every day right here. This is our every day. I see. I had to stand up and walk away. Right? Pray. We have to praise God. We have to praise God. Um, and that's why that's why I said, bro, you really you really have a, had a um, a firm impact on my spiritual walk. Um, when when you can feel that spirit charging you, you move different, you think different, you act different, and most importantly, you believe different. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Because it's easy to just go through our lives and these cycles and these patterns, but when you have a dream and you you really believe in that and you're praying for it and you're manifesting it. I feel I feel like everything just gets more beautiful in your life. That's right. You know, and I'm, I'm grateful God has shown me my purpose at a young age. I saw my purpose when I was, I think, 22 years old. Mm. And since purpose and passion at 22. Mm. Some people still don't have that. Mm. So I'm very grateful. But it's just a testament to what faith can do for your life. Um, I just turned 28. And everything that I've done in my life has been driven by that purpose and that passion mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like people look at me and they're like they see, or they see my instagram which is just a fraction of my life but there's a lot of success on there there's a lot of great things i've been able to do because of god's strength and most importantly him showing me my passion my purpose so, that's right i'm inspired by your passion bro bro i appreciate you man um i just i hope everybody finds that because you're gonna live a more abundant life and you're gonna be more of service to the world you know we're all here to be of a we're here to live lives that are worth being told and, you know, stories and remembered when we're gone. That's right. We're not here to just be regular people just moving about, dying. Oh, oh, th that, per that person died? How long has it been? Like, they, mm. you know what I mean? It's easy to be Wow. Bro, let's be real, man. People pass away and we forget about them. Wow. That's huge. Let's keep it real, man. We're being transparent on these videos. Stop. Like, you stop crying about them. You... you you stop memorializing them. Exactly. You know, so while we're here every single day, like, 
two men on a mission is spiritual. You know, we're on a mission to 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 inspire, to impact, to make change, to to build schools. You know, to do great things, to win Academy Awards. That's right. To win Nobel Peace Prizes. Mm. You know, like this is not a game. And come on, man. Yeah, bro, I could I could really preach on here, man. You know my energy. Woo. Don't play with me, dog. <laughs> like, this is not a game. We, 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 one one of the things one of the things that two men on a mission. The reason why we have this it was accountability for us to make sure that we live up to what we say mm-hmm. and, we and document build, it and document it. Yeah. Um, find a partner, find, find a friend. Not everybody's suitable for your personal information. I right. can tell him anything, right. but there is friends out there that will take your personal information and use it as gain. Mm. People hear this all the time. They're snakes, right? Mm-hmm. Not just snakes. There's something new out there, okay? And I'm going to tell you right now. There's people that multiply. They, they, they clone themselves to circle around you. And at that point, you have to, you literally have to submit to them. Because mm. you gave too much of your information. You can't win. Mm. They got your business now. Yeah. They got your whole business plan. While you kept talking, they kept telling other people and made their business plan. Wow. You thought it was just you and them. Right. All of a sudden, they got a six-people team. And you're like, what? You're starting a business? That sounds like the name I created. Mm. That sounds like... Yes, I'm telling you. Those are not snakes. Those are not snakes. Snake is one thing. Sl- Slither. Mm-hmm. They over here... Making a whole team. That's a scheme. That's a whole double team. Those wow. are the, that's what that is. So hey, two men on a mission. This ain't, doesn't say three. Nah. It doesn't say four. It doesn't nah. say five. It, one two. person. Find your other person. Yeah, find your other person. Find your other person. That's all I'm asking. Yeah. Safe person where it's gonna your information is secure. Yeah. Um, and don't choose it fast if if you don't know it yet. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, and also, as, I mean, even as, as you're speaking that, I'm looking at your book. So, yeah. um, I don't know how many steps this breaks down, but... So, I see one, two, three, four... Mm-hmm. Does it go to ten? I think it goes to, like, at least five. Okay. Yeah. Well, it has it has four right here immediately, so... Yeah. I can, show, I can share this with you guys. Yeah, go ahead. You just, I'm not even going to read yours, but more so the steps. Mm-hmm. So, the first step, it says, one, start with the big picture. Right, so once you find your person, you know, once you find your the person, your two women on a mission or your two men on a mission, start with the big picture. You know, right. the big picture is important because it gives your life direction. That's right. Your big picture is a combination of your dreams, your ideas about the life you want to live, and your vision of what the coming year could be. Use the space below to brainstorm. Include thoughts about the people in your life and the kind of people you like to surround yourself with. That part's mm. important. Okay. Think about the non-negotiable activities and events in your days, weeks, months, and years. I have my non-negotiables. He has his non-negotiables. Things that we don't, whatever the case is, this has to be done. This cannot enter my life. Things of that sort. Make sure you have those. Usually, you can start by thinking about what you spend your time and your money on as an indicator of Mm. what matters most to you. Okay? I'm going to repeat that line. Usually, you can start by thinking about what you spend your time and your money on as an indicator of what matters most to you. Wow. Challenge yourself to not only dream big on this page, but also dream better. You Mm. can also, you can always come back to this page throughout the year and add to it. So don't think you have to fill it out all at once. Okay. Start with the big picture. That's what him and I did. We put it on on camera for you guys. You know, I don't know. I usually don't like putting my business out there, but at the end of 2020, 2022, I was fed up. I was like, I don't give a damn anymore. Mm. Somebody can learn from my struggle. I'm not scared. I'm not ashamed. Like, somebody can learn from this. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to roll over and cry and die. Like, you know me, you know me effed up. Like, I'm going to take that as ammunition and I'm going to build something bigger. Okay? Mm. Anyways, number two, after you have your person and you guys start with the big picture, set your goals. Okay? Pretty sure that's fun. I mean, together, set goals together. That's fun. That's fun. Honestly, all of these are fun. Yeah, they really are. The first two are the the fun part. 
start with the big picture, just dream, inspire, grab a cocktail, you know. Right. Look at the map and just say, hey, we're going to go there, we're going to do something great. Mm. Or we're going to be in our local hometown, we're going to do something great, right? Yeah. Everybody's dreams are different. Set your goal. Number three, design your days. This might be a little bit more monotonous for some people, um, but design your days because that's going to create your intention. Yeah, and your right? discipline. That's going to create your discipline. Your, your life is a reflection of your discipline. Point blank period, you know? I mean, it's true. Your life is a direct reflection of your discipline. Mm. And lastly, stay on course, right? Hold mm. each other accountable. Record videos on YouTube. Yeah. You know, call each other. This guy calls me every day. I call him every day. Like, we're holding each other accountable. <laughs> every we're day. talking about our goals. Um, there's, there's not a day that we speak on the phone. It's not about something that has to do with growth. It's either about family, faith, or... Two men on a mission. Two men on a mission. films, whatever. It's just a daily, daily mission. It's a daily thing that we're doing. So, um, you you mentioned something about, about that uh, discipline. Mm -hmm. Um, he is one of the most disciplined people I know. Mm, appreciate that. Um, man. appreciate it. You know a lot of you know a lot of guys in football and business. yeah, yeah. There's a lot of discipline, life, discipline. I, I used to be one of the, known as like one of the most hardest workers, you know, like football player, like receiver. And I was trying to find that in myself again and, and many different things. But his discipline can create new dreams. I want you to hear that again. Mm. His discipline can create new dreams. Let me tell you why. Praise God. It creates new dreams. When I met him, he was filming a um, a model. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I've known him to be a DJ, a entrepreneur, um, a model himself, an actor himself, a music producer, um, a, a music producer like as far as the the music and the the actual video. Uh, music video That's true. producer. Damn, I um, <laughs> he is open to trading. He's open to doing a few different things or getting his certificates for different things. Okay. He has the same structure of discipline for all those things. His preparation is the night before. Good meal, something to relax his mind. He goes to bed at the same time. He wakes up in the morning, does something to relax his mind. Then he's doing the thing. Mm -hmm. And he has the, the design day out. Yeah. The reason why he can have a new dream is because his template is fits for every new dream. Wow. You got to know when to get off your phone, mm. stop. Talking to hoochies, talking to dat, the zaddies. <laughs> you know, you got to know when to stop munching on the, you know, whatever you like to yeah. eat. I'm just saying, yeah, put down the alcohol, you know, you look at you, yourself. You you, look at yourself and ask yourself, are you really disciplined enough for a new dream? Damn, you preach it, man. Are you really disciplined enough? To go meet with important people yeah. to give you important money. Yeah, that's real. Like, do you deserve it all? I could be honest with you. There, I, I shouldn't have started kids that young, uh, or 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 you know without a plan. Look, what's most important is not how you start; it is how you finish. Amen. So right now, you should be thinking about your big old dream. You should be thinking about these cool goals and designing your day. Yeah. And it is that discipline. Because that reflects if you're really about it. Yeah. And it, you'll see it. You'll see it. Um, something that, you know, I talk about often is legacy. Like I've been saying, leave your handprint for the past seven years. You know, people see me, they put their handprint up. And that originated based on legacy. 
right? Mm. So it started, you know, DJ 6565, five, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. Leave, your, leave your handprint, but... Man, we'll do that again. Leave your handprint, yeah, man. Leave your handprint. But putting a meaning behind that gave me a whole different mindset. way I moved everything. It's like, okay, so... Yeah, this is a brand, but there's a purpose behind this. Leave your handprint is a heavy statement. And I think something that people need to do more often is think with the end in mind. Mm. Because we are all going to be in the ground one day. Whether you, you can be in the ground or you can be cremated. It's going to be one of the two. Um, it's going to happen. We're all going to pass. Whew. So I think about my legacy every day. Mm. You know, I know it's not the best thing to do to think about death often, but Solomon even talks about it in the Bible. Me and Alex are going through that right now. He talks about thinking with the end in mind. Mm. You know, so when you think about the end of mind, what's going to be a story people talk about? What is going to be the people, the story people share? Mm. What do you want your life to look like when you're, when you pass away? You know what I'm saying? So just having that mindset right there, like has just, just tremendously changed my life because I know I'm going to die, but I have things that I will accomplish before that time comes, mm. or I'm going to be in the process of making happen. Right. So that's something I would encourage you to do as well. Like I said, if you're struggling to find your purpose, your passion, just like tap into to what brings your soul alive and pray 90 days, like he was saying. 90 just, days. Just watch what happens. And then also think with the end in mind because that's, right. that's going to really restructure your discipline. You're not going to spend a lot of time having these weak-ass conversations and doing slippery dickery with <laughs> Joe and Bob. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Leave Joe and Bob alone. Or change the conversations. You know, mm. you always got to cut your friends. People always say, oh, cut your friends off, small circle, this and that. That's cool. But it's a simple it's a simple conversation change. Change your behavior a little bit. Change. Your character. You, you can keep Joe and Bob Brown. But what are they talking about that's adding value to your life? What are you talking about that's adding value to their life? Mm. If they're not willing to grow, if they're not willing to pray for 90 days with you, just find out what their purpose is or how you guys can level up as a trio, mm. they need to go. You can go find someone else and start your two men on a mission. Or That's you right. can go find Wendy and y'all start talking about leveling up and two women on a mission. Mm. But uh, yeah, I could preach on legacy all day, brother. Um, I definitely want to talk about our, our Q2 goals, our 12 yeah. weeks. Yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah, um, what, are your, what are your goals for this new 12 weeks? So Q2, um, it, it seemed like the film and acting started a little bit earlier than, than I than it, I it thought. Really did. It really it did. did. Yeah. It, it crept up on us. Praise God. So I feel like stuff in Q2 it, uh, kind of slipped into a little bit of Q1. Mm-hmm. But um, I, I, I love the fast track. I, I think that's just uh, a, it's a, a, a testament to how hard we work. That, that Now yes. we can push things forward. Success loves speed. Yeah. You work hard, things will start sliding more up Amen. to you and you can do the next thing. Amen. So... Um, my goal is to get six headshots in in ninety days. Let's go. Cool. So it's I'm That's hoping easy. I'm hoping to get different kind of looks. I'm 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 growing my hair out right now, so I want to have one look. I'm growing the beard out, so I have a beard look. Um, now clean shave, so I have different looks. Um, and that way I can look like different ethnicities, like one day, like, oh, you look like Mark Anthony, you know, another time that, you know, you look like Will Smith. No, I'm playing. I, I, I'm a fan of you guys, you know, I'm trying to be, uh, I'm me. Yeah. I'm Marco right now, 90 seconds. Marco, uh, <laughs> cool. you are, man. Um, but the, uh, yeah, I want to, I want to get an acting coach. Um, uh, I also right. wanted to work on my fitness. Uh, I lost some weight. But now it's time to kind of bulk up or, or, or really shred at the same weight uh, to make it seem like I'm a little bit bigger, but uh, more vascular. So I want to work on my diet. Um, let's go, man. It, I'll start working out with you this quarter. For sure. Yeah, I'll start let, working out with you. Let's get it. Start training. That's right. And I want, we want to train like boxers. You know, we want to, we want to be very vascular. Vascular. But, but um, lean muscle. That's right. That's right. Very lean. Yep. Um, not much fat, and so that that's my goal this year. But I'm praying that the the mini series and will open doors to other um, avenues. Like maybe maybe I get a new agent by quarter three. So like I'm talking in quarter two, agent in quarter three. 
or talking in quarter two with a talent manager, but locking it down in quarter three. Yeah. Um, so that's, I, I didn't make it super big or, or, you know, a bunch of uh, long lists, but that's, that's what it is. Mm-hmm. That's, that's my goal. Amen, so, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I wrote mine down as well. I put every, I like to put everything down in these notes, man. Okay. Yep. So my overall objective with this 12 week year is to continue mastering my day trading skill set and prepare for the transition to full sale university. Um, that is it. That is it. Keep, keeping it simple. Getting better every week. The markets are different each and every week and teach different lessons. But my focus and risk management is there to achieve any profit target I desire and finish in profit. Three to five percent a week is my target. Um, being very intentional and praying on this. I plan to continue my physical growth development and spiritual development. Mm. Weekly Bible studies and service on Sundays. This is a very healthy routine for me. I would like to improve my meditation frequency. And then my tasks for the 12 week year. Write something new I learned about the markets for 12 weeks straight every single day. Wow. Mm-hmm. Review and journal something that I learned every day I'm on the charts. Um, pay off credit card debt. Uh, practice DJing three times a week. Finish thinking, grow rich. 30 minutes a day listening to the audiobook. Um, finish trading beyond the matrix, reading 30 minutes a day. Uh, 30 minutes a day of daily self care, which consists of praying, meditating, yoga, gym, etc. And then complete seven to ten episodes of ninety seconds by Memorial Weekend, and then something else that um, that I've been, that's been on my heart is volunteering more. Um, so Same. my church has a family Fridays where people come and you know we donate food and goods, etc., clothing, supplies oh. um, at the House of Hope. So that's something I'm definitely going to be, um, Amen. yeah, bringing to fruition as well. But as you can see, it's very focused. Like it's <clears throat> financial, it's personal, and it's film. That's right. I don't need to make it too crazy. I don't plan on doing a ton of travel this year. It's just really locked in. Um, just extremely locked in. And like I said, we'll be keeping you guys posted on all the progress. That's good goals, though, man. Just focus, man. That's it. That's just focus. I think we're at a very beautiful spot right Another now. Another 12-week year with that. That it, Your garden is going to be... Man... It's heating up for the summertime. You might have the biggest... You might have pterodactyls on your trees, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Jack and the beanstalk, you I'm know. Ready. I'm ready. We're just watering, watering our growing plants, man. It's a beautiful thing. So Should we pray for them? Yeah, bro. Let's, 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 let's pray. pray. Close us out in prayer. And, uh, yeah, well, after you, I'll just fill it. Fill that, in from that's there. right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Father God, I just thank you for today. I thank you for an amazing opportunity to inspire others and show people what uh faith produce Amen. and uh i i we want to show people what friendship does uh healthy friendships uh that doesn't involve um drugs or uh greed or anything that people are uh, so distracted by i pray that they're no longer distracted no longer chained to anything that they could be free feel peace feel love hurt hurts turn into healing Mm. and that they can just see that uh, what we're doing uh, is a uh, testimony of God um, being gracious and merciful to us. And I know you want to be merciful and gracious to everybody, Lord. Um, And I pray that people would seek you and, and choose you and choose a relationship with you. Um, Continue to uh, Bless our steps, our walk, our our, our vo- uh, you know our um, our hands, our feet, uh, and the way we think. And uh, I want to pass this out to my brother. I actually want to pass it back to Angelo because he's been having the chills about something serious, God. I'm gonna let him have his time to pray it out. Um, okay. Since we're putting everything out into the you know to the universe, praying to you, Lord. Uh, I definitely like to my brother to get those chills and the juices that he's got. Just yeah. give it straight to you. Okay, Lord, what's been on my heart is I feel like you're going to do something pretty special for Kwaku and I. Praise God. And um, this is the first time in a while that I've had chills that feels that um, we need to be great examples, be uh, two men that are definitely looking out for Satan's schemes because you're Mm. about to bless us. Praise God. And I feel as though 
this is a chance for us to be even more disciplined and be more in in our word and praying to you. But here's the chills that I, I feel like. I pray that we are one that is truly ready for the talk of our life. Mm. Um, in these next 90 days, I truly believe that we're going to have an opportunity, um, a representative of some sort of uh, person that, that may be talking about putting our project into the big screen or, or offering to um, handle another project. I just really believe in that. Praise God. I really believe in that. And so when he asked me to pray it out, it's really just to get these chills out because sometimes I, I can't sleep without prayer mm. and I can't go anywhere without reading my word or Praise hearing God. something spiritual. Praise God, and so God, I believe in you. Uh, he asked me to, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm praying about it, I but I pray that this prayer is giving us the opportunity to continue to do what we love, Praise but God. I pray that we can continue to love others more mm. and better. And, and, and because you provided to us that we are able to give back with what you provide to us Praise in God. Jesus name, pray. Amen. 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 Lord, I just want to, you know, piggyback on Angela's prayer and just give you, you know, give you more gratitude. Like I'm very, I'm very thankful. So for grateful. It. Yeah. I'm so grateful. Not only to be alive and see another year of life, but I'm just really grateful for, you know, you bring Angelo into my life, Lord, bringing the good people, bringing loving Christian people into my life, Lord, um, people of people of intellect, people of vision, people of wisdom, people of love, people of laughter, people of fun and good character and good spirit. God, I'm just so grateful because not everybody has that, you know, not everybody has that community. And we know that just within the word community itself, there's unity. So it's not a surprise that as you continue bringing these amazing people into our lives, we're starting to light up more. We're starting to, to move more with power and efficiency and, and you know, happiness, God. Um, so we're just, we're just so grateful for, you know, for you bringing good people and spirits around us. We pray that you continue to elevate our, our craft. Um, he mentioned an undeniable opportunity. That only comes if you you know you continue blessing us with the the daily discipline and strength and health to get better at what it is that we do. You know, um, we're we're in that mode right now. We're in that Tom Clancy, Michael B. Jordan mode of of grind and grit and you know dedication to our craft. So yes, whatever we put our hands on, Lord, I pray you just you know continue to bless us. Whatever we Success, touch in terms of gold, like Joseph. That's right. Um, you know, continue revealing scriptures and passages in your word to us that just hit like yeah, bricks, so. like, ah, mm, that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? So just I'm so grateful for my brother, Angelo, man, I love this guy. He's just really- Love my brother. He's really Thank just, you, he's just a different cat, as you can tell. Um, Come on. <laughs> he's just, Come on. Guy. We dreaming. He's we just, dreaming, Lord. He's got a spirit that's just contagious. So Lord, I just pray you continue blessing him and his acting because it's only going to make my directing better. Let's um, go. It's only going to make my edits better when he brings his A game. And, you know, I pray that our series gets views, it gets attention. Yes, and Lord. Even though it didn't start with any plan, I pray whatever blessing you have upon it, God, just bring it to light. Yes, we're working. Lord. We're going to be ready and available for whatever you have. Yes. We pray for, you know, protection over our, our, our spouses, our loved ones, our family, yes. our children, our friends. Yes. Um, everybody, God, I'm just grateful. You know, I could say thank you a thousand times on this prayer and just not even feel it. Just thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you know, thank you, Lord. So just I'm um, just I'm on a million right now. I just on cloud nine. That's this two men on a mission. We love this, you, this, Lord. This, we love, love you, God. We just thank you for two men on a mission because this, this really changed my life. That's right. Um, it gave me new life, you know, That's new right. energy, new frequency. So we give it all to you, God, in your name. Amen. 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 Oh man. Hey, if you don't feel the juice, hey. we're gonna bring it to you next time. <laughs> Cause you know, I'll hey. Tell you what. Man, somebody did. Somebody yeah, did today. Somebody felt that. Somebody Come felt that. You from start to finish, somebody felt that. And I told you we was gonna we was gonna our play. Hey. Hey. I got like two minutes left on ten minutes left on my on my SD card. I said we was gonna go our plus. Yeah. You know, so 
Appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, go, you know, check out the 90 seconds. Please do. Definitely follow Angelo. Follow my boy Kwaku. Yeah. We love you. Love you guys, man. God bless. God bless. Two men on a mission. All right, man. Let's keep going. Ah! <laughs> Peace. Peace.